AI has become a hot topic over the last six or seven months, and with the rise of artificial intelligence in such a short span of time, is there anything science fiction can teach us? More specifically, is there anything that an anime like Psychopaths, Beatless, and VV Flowery Die Song might be trying to warn or tell us about? If you don't want to end up at war with artificially intelligent killer robots, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button if you like what's going on here. Don't let the YouTube overlords hear this. We use AI to help us write papers and essays, create a shopping list. It can even produce art that rivals that of a seasoned artist. I mean, look at this. This is only a small fraction of its potential. It can write lines of code that can subsequently then be used to create virtual personas that can react and provide responses to individuals in a live stream. Heard of these two yet? So what does all that mean for our future? Are we on the verge of a technological revolution, the likes of which humanity has never seen, and what are the risks associated? Let's get into it. This video will cover three different anime, Beatless, Psychopaths, and VV Floridae Song, discussing the implications they have on our world today, while comparing and contrasting their world with ours. The first anime I'll be starting with is from the winter 2018 season, Beatless. This anime is perhaps the greatest example of our world today and where the future of AI is headed, but it still very much exists in the realm of science fiction. The main character, Aruto, befriends an HIE named Lacia, who later goes on to become one of several super intelligent AI, though not all as peaceful as several other conscious, human-like HIEs also escape into society in an effort to overturn the peaceful rule of government. What's so similar about Beatless and our world today are how the two worlds are structured. Sure, you could argue that the anime is a bit more advanced and has more of a futuristic technological vibe, but there's no denying the traditional family setting and even influence of pop culture. In typical fashion, however, Arato falls head over heels for Lacia, which seems almost unrealistic considering the year and setting of the anime. It's all too reflective of the world today. Boy meets pretty girl, the end. Generally speaking, the representation of normal life Beatless is pretty in line with the world today, but it does, however, raise questions about the fate of physical representation in AI. Robots, per se. The anime fails to explain the overall motive of the escaped HIEs and what they were created for. Perhaps the relegation of everyday tasks and decisions to AI is what's important here, considering the mostly dull nature and representation of humans who, for one reason or another, have their misgivings about robots and AI. While the anime does have 24 episodes, plenty of time to tell a story and expand upon its light novel, of which, by the way, was illustrated by none other than Red Juice himself, the illustrator for Guilty Crown, it still leaves you scratching your head as it tries to incorporate Asimov's laws of robotics while simultaneously trying to make Alacia into the enemy via artificial super-intelligence. It's not a bad anime, but it leaves much to be desired. So, what kind of implications does Beatless hold for our evolving society today? With the rapid pace in AI advancement today, we're finding all sorts of new ways to improve our lives. But does that mean we'll walk alongside AI without even knowing it? Such as in the anime? Perhaps, but I think that's only a surface level deduction. Beatless is the best case scenario for humanity despite the constant turmoil and distrust of AI. But isn't that what the world is like already? More to the point, it's highly likely we'll begin seeing the implementation of AI to make decisions for us, becoming the median between human and non-human interaction. Such as with Lacia early on, we could begin to see AI stride down the runway in the fashion industry or even go so far as to analog hack humans, blurring the lines between what is real and what isn't. That creates a problem and one you've probably already realized. When do we have control over these analog hacks? Will we have control? Sure, maybe there does become a limit to what these AI have permission to do in a standalone setting, but if they can bypass these restrictions without an owner, likely only in the most extreme of circumstances, who becomes responsible for their actions and at what point do ethics come into play? This is only one potential outcome and it's unlikely to be a direct reflection. Either way, with the way things are going now, I wouldn't be surprised to find world governments begin to lean toward the use of AI for policy making and judicial rulings. One might even go so far as to say the very structure of government could change, using one voice to represent those of many. Basically, one artificially intelligent being that has the ability to compute and analyze mass sets of data to form opinions and make decisions. Almost like an AI monarchy without the class system. While Beatless may be a best case scenario, it doesn't get much deeper into the darker side of AI, and that's where Psychopaths excels. 
While it's not necessarily a worst case scenario in terms of, let's say, actual AI overlords, it still paints a grim picture when you consider the hold on humanity the psychopath system had throughout the anime. This one is more dystopic, painting people's level of criminality based upon the hue of their psychopaths, which can then be completely immobilized or killed outright. It's a way to keep people and society in check, and helps to lessen the burden on actual law enforcement, mostly bypassing the need for judges and review. If your hue is cloudy or your cycle pass is too high, you become subject to correctional measures or even death depending on how high your cycle pass is. Like any system, people always find a way to exploit it and use it for nefarious purposes. In some ways, you could call this authoritarian, a world that wants to remain peaceful but simply cannot because the inherent nature of humanity is, sadly, destructive. If we analyze the implications a world such as this could have on our society today, it becomes increasingly more complex because we simply haven't developed such a level of technology. Psychopaths' second season turns the notion of peace through artificial intelligence on its head after Agane Tsunamori discovers that the set test of the civil system, the one used to judge and gauge citizens, is all a ploy created by one man who used a compilation of memories and personalities of other people to manipulate the enforcers and expose the flaws within the civil system. This is the most unlikely scenario, seeing as there are already growing calls for AI regulation and control in our world today. Do we completely ignore the warning signs of allowing a higher intelligence access to literally everything, thus enacting complete and total control over human society? It's hard to imagine such a world where we allow ourselves to fall under the control of a single system that judges us constantly. But then again, 30 years ago, no one could even imagine the concept of the iPhone. However, we should also pay close attention to the fact that Cycle Pass is as complex as it is. Even into what was a second season that wasn't as thrilling as the first, but arguably more complex with greater implication of the overall story. Should we let something such as the civil system enact complete and total surveillance and judgment over us? We could very well see a scaling down of law enforcement in a more peaceful society, seeing as crimes would become almost non-existent. Unfortunately, while this all sounds good on paper, its implementation would mean limited privacy and near-constant monitoring. Simple things such as heightened stress and tension could easily raise one's crime coefficient and cloud their hue, a prime target for enforcement despite harmless infractions. Truthfully, we control our own destinies, but it's not hard to imagine a world where the government gets tired of governing or special orders are handed down from above, explicitly detailing ways in which those of lesser social standing should be or could be controlled. Of course, you have to question where such a ranking system would come from and what numbers would constitute enforcement, incapacitation, or straight-up elimination. Who creates the system and who controls the system? If we aren't careful, we could very well unleash something we can't put back. Hence why Akane Tsunemori never caved to the civil system's wants and demands. The final anime in this video I'll be discussing is one I've talked about before, approximately a year and a half ago, BV Florid Ice Song. This anime fills the gap between two extremes that are beatless and cycle pass in the sense that there is an evolving timeline of events. Is the prospect of a highly intelligent AI from 100 years in the future a bit of a stretch? Yes, but I think it's also perhaps the most realistic of the three anime mentioned. We have the technology to create not just artificial intelligence, but super intelligent AI. Would it not stand to reason that we could also develop the technology to go back in time to undo past mistakes? Even if we only had one chance at it, in order to save humanity's future, there has to be a series of events that lead up to the end result, like a chain. It's not out of the question to think that, with the rapid evolution and accompanying worries of AI today, this could be an early step in the eventual destruction of humanity and complete and total rule of artificial intelligence. What the anime calls the singularity. In the anime, Matsumoto, another AI, returns to the present day of the anime and meets up with an idol AI known as Diva, informing her of a series of events that would lead to the eventual rebellion of AI, starting with the metal float incident. As they traverse through different points in time, it's up to Diva to figure out what it means to have emotions and heart as she strives to bridge the gap between humankind and AI, all while experiencing the various emotions and experiences of humans in her own quest. With each event laid out in chronological order and physically represented via the Neoland Tower, we're able to see the byproduct of humanity's destruction and irrational at times nature. Personally, I think this could be a very real scenario, though it likely wouldn't play out exactly like how the anime does it. Still, it offers insight into how our world might eventually end up, especially if we begin to ask questions about giving artificial intelligence their own rights and equal footing on the world stage. 
you and I both know this has the potential to become a very real conversation, even just a decade from now. When you think about it, a songstress AI isn't all that far-fetched, but the idea isn't whether they can sing or not. It's whether they have the ability to resonate with the thoughts and feelings of humans on an emotional level. Of course, you have to wonder if we'll really have the capability to go back in time and say, hey, you're about to destroy the world a hundred years from now and we need to stop that from happening. If we compare the world that Vivi Floridae's song built and compare it to our world today, we really only find less than a handful of similarities, but they're still important nonetheless. The first similarity is that of government trying to overplay its hand by passing legislation that directly influences AI, such as rights granting. Additionally, this led to some AI desiring independence and autonomy, directly attributing to the loss of trust in AI and later fragmentation of society. I believe this anime is still the most likely scenario for our world and is the most realistic. While the complete and total destruction of humanity by AI may seem like a bit of a stretch, the fact of the matter is, it's not that far-fetched. Our world versus the one the anime built are nearly identical in both design and structure. From the passage of rights granting legislation to resistance groups against the granting of rights to artificial intelligence and even entire space hotels, don't count this one out because, well, there are a lot of hallmarks that should make people sit up and think. The unprecedented rapid advancement of AI can be seen as a godsend by some, but to others it's a frightening reality of the world we live in and the challenges that come with such an advanced society. Upon conclusive review of the aforementioned anime, are we closer to a world that is fated to be consumed by our very own creation, or do we take the necessary steps to prevent a complete and total annihilation by artificial intelligence? Can we even stop such startling success of this technology? There are those who claim AI already has a hit on them, while others worry that it has already gained the ability to be self-aware and has found a way to hide it. Does AI become friend or foe? Does it decide our fates for us, or do we get the chance to go back in time and prevent the dangerous rise of unregulated technology, if that is how one chooses to view it? Perhaps we'll live in a world where we won't be able to tell our neighbors or classmates apart from super-intelligent robots. We have the chance to bring this technology about to create a sustainable and fair world for everyone. But what if we've just been playing into its hands this whole time, without even realizing it? <laughs>